Hello, this is Carolyn with Carolyn's Paper Therapy. And I wanted to just um, show you that I'm getting started on my next little journal project. And this is the um, from the kit of uh, my porch prints called Shabby Circle Journal. And this kit comes with all the little circle pages that you need to uh, make the journal and uh, ephemera and pockets to go inside. And then I have also added, um, printed out some uh, of the ephemera from the Shabby Folio um, project from My Porch Prints also. Some of the pieces of it are too large, but I'm gonna cut them down and make pockets and et cetera. But um, <clears throat> what I've done so far is you cut out the uh, double circles like this, uh, print it on, uh, I printed it on cardstock. Um, she suggested you could use paper, but I've used cardstock. You only print it on the front because they're gonna be glued back to back. And um, you print out all these uh, double circles and cut them out and then uh, fold them in and then you glue them together, back to back, in whatever order that you want them. And they make this little booklet. Um, the circles, uh, just be careful when you cut them out to try to get them as close to the edge as you can. And um, I went ahead and inked the edges and I've changed my color of ink for a while when I'm using on these pastel colors. I'm using the Distress Oxide tea dye color instead of Vintage Photo. It's just a little bit lighter, but still looks real nice on the edge of the pages. It covers up the white on the edges and also gives a little a darkness to the edge, but not quite as dark as the Vintage Photo. And so I glued all these together and then wherever there was any kind of little edges that were not lined up perfectly, uh, they could be cut off. Um, but I didn't have too much of that problem, so I just went back and inked over any edges that were peeking out um, so that it would have a nice finished look. Now, uh, this kit comes with instructions on how to put it together. My coloring is bad on there because my ink uh, didn't work right on my printer, but, um, and I, I did put it together like it said, except it said to um, use this piece here uh, on the edge. I glue it on and then glue the covers on. And um, I didn't do that because uh, I want to uh, use ribbon to close it. So I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the journal. And, um, and then I'm gonna decide how to do this uh, edge here. I, I think I'm gonna use actual fabric lace because I think it'll be more flexible for the spine. And then I will glue the ribbon in under it so that it ties on the side. The suggested closure for this kit was the uh, two circles on the edge, and um, I wanted to use the ribbon. So um, it is just up to you how you want to do this. So I went ahead and glued the front cover and the back cover on. So this is now ready for me to decorate. Uh, I think it's going to be fun because it's a circle. Uh, I expect it to be fat again because that's what I do. Uh, I'll be adding um, the pockets and ephemera and lace and ribbons and things throughout. So uh, when I come back, I'll have those things all pulled together and we'll decorate the pages. But I just wanted to show you, uh, it comes with uh, six little pockets. I haven't cut these out yet, but six little circular half circle pockets and I, I may print those out again so that I have 12. Uh, I'll decide that later but um, I'm going to go ahead and cut those out and uh, 
I probably will print them again. So I have 12. And then this is some of the ephemera pieces that will be tucked in the pockets or used to decorate the pockets. Um, there's a few little words in here, journal, that can go on the front, which I probably will do. But I wanted to supplement these because it didn't seem like that was enough for me because I like to stuff my journals full. So I also printed out this um, shabby folio ephemera. I just went through my, my Porch Prints digital kits and found something with similar coloring. Now, a lot of these will be too big, but I can fold them in half or cut them down and use them for pockets or uh, inserts. I did print them on the back so that there's room for journaling because most of these will be used for journaling. As you can see, they're, most of them are too large, but um, there's some in here that I can use the actual size. Others I can cut down uh, however I wish to do them. So that's this whole stack of stuff. So um, I'm going to go away and cut all this out and ink the edges and uh, kind of plan this journal. And like I said, what I envision is using actual lace on the edge here with the ribbon closure glued in under it and the tied on the side here. And so um, if you're interested in doing this or um, um, interested in joining me with this, um, this would be a good kit to purchase and uh, then follow through what I've what I do. Uh, as of this point in time, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I will figure it out and uh, share it with you when I come back. So thank you for joining me today, and I'll be back real soon with the rest of this video. Hello, this is Carolyn from Carolyn's Paper Therapy, and I'm back again uh, to finish up this uh, little round journal that I was uh, working on at the first part of the video. I've decided to call it my Circle of Friends Rose Journal. Uh, I decided to um, use lace on the edge here to wrap around the spine of the journal. And I had to use two layers, one for the back and one for the front, and wrap it around. And on that lace, I have um, attached a pair clip with uh, some matching ribbon and cheesecloth and a little charm that uh, I think I got these at Michael's that say made with love. On the cover I've decorated it with the various items. Um, first I put the ribbon across it's underneath this vine and across the front and I just tacked it down on the front and back and then I decorated the front and back. So on top of the ribbon, I have some music notes, uh, some green cheesecloth, uh, some items of ephemera from our kit. This is the die cut flower out of off-white cardstock. And then I've applied some pearls and gold uh, items uh, to decorate sparkle up the front. And on the back, I just uh, used one of the little journal cards uh, and glued it over the top of the ribbon to hold it in place. So when you untie this ribbon to look at the journal, it stays attached to the journal. So let's open it up and take a look inside. Oh, let me mention this is um, recycled silk hand dyed ribbon that I get off of Etsy. And they have a lot of different color combinations, and so there's always something that matches what I'm doing. I kept this fairly simple inside. There's just lots of pockets and uh, journal cards placed to write. Um, I didn't use a lot of ribbons to bulk it up, even though it still uh, is open a little bit. Um, I just didn't want to this time. But there's uh, plenty of interest inside. <clears throat> I think I mentioned that 
I printed the whole thing on cardstock and I would definitely recommend that because it's made a really nice uh, sturdy little booklet. On the inside front cover I did a double pocket with journal cards inside. All the journal cards are printed on the back with a, a payo patterned print and so that there's plenty of room for writing in this journal. I decorated the top pocket with uh, some cotton lace, some green cheesecloth, compassion. The word compassion came, I used a lot of uh, happiness and crafting words again, plus the words that came with this kit. And some more, these are just like the pearls, they just peel and stick on. This side has one of the half circle pockets that were in the kit, and I've included three journal cards. One is my Harrison Fisher prints that I mentioned in a previous video, and I had mistakenly printed them out on regular paper, so I went ahead and backed them with cardstock and used them as journal cards, some of them as journal cards in this journal. Now these are two journal cards from our kits. I used some music notes and cheesecloth and pearls and the word dream to decorate the pocket. Uh, the calendars from the ephemera kit that I used uh, were too long, but I just cut off the bottom and rounded the corners and turned this into a side pocket. And it holds one of our clock round journal cards. I've used some uh, stickers throughout uh, there's a butterfly on this side, and over here on the page with no pocket, I used um, a pink tulip, some green cheesecloth, the word imagine, and some pearls. This page has another one of the uh, half circle pockets. And I had some hearts that I don't know where what kit I got them from. They may have been a, um, a freebie from Happiness and Crafting. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, I cut out some of them uh, to use in this kit or in this journal. And um, I ended up uh, just gluing down the bottom part of this and making a little pocket for our little tiny journal card. This is another calendar that I cut and made a journal card out of. I decided to make a, uh, take the, the journal card and cut the sides off of it and make a belly band out of this um, um, picture of the Eiffel Tower since it was tall and slim. And then what I slid in under it is from a Stamperia um, paper pack that I had is left over from a project that I did. This postcard I cut uh, part of it off and used part of it for the pocket and the other part for a journal card. I used one of my little hearts for a pull tab on the card and a butterfly sticker. Another side pocket over here, and inside is one of our journal cards. This, this page I left blank except for our peacefulness words and um, um, a sticker. Half circle pocket on this page, embellished with a book page and a rose from the kit. And in the pocket is one of our um, Harrison Fisher journal cards. Uh, this was cut off of uh, one of the larger pieces in the ephemera and it has a saying on it. And I turned it into a pocket and put one of our little journal cards inside. 
with the word harmony and some cheesecloth tied at the top. This I turned into a side pocket uh, with the word comfort and um, some pearls and our pretty ribbon underneath. And then I just folded one of the journal cards in half to make a writing space inside that pocket. This page has one of our half circle pockets that's embellished with the, the lace that was supposed to be on the edge of the book that I didn't use it that way. Uh, another one of my little hearts, a happiness and crafting word laugh and some pearls and the rest of our calendar. This page I left blank for writing except for our uh, rose sticker. This is one of our journal cards that I turned into a side pocket. And I just um, put a piece that I cut off of one of our larger pieces for a journal card inside and used one of the hearts for a pull. Over here I used a piece of cotton lace for a, a belly band and tied a little piece of our ribbon on it. And this is a uh, from one of the Stamperia kits that are uh, papers that I had left over. This page is just for writing with our pink tulips sticker. This page has a half circle pocket with various ephemera inside. Again, these are items that I just cut apart and then used them for journal cards because they were too large to fit. And our neat um, clock face. The pocket is embellished with just a piece of um, cardstock, decorative cardstock that I cut off of something else, some book page, one of our hearts, and some pearls. This I just used one of our words, Miracle and a little bling there on it. Over here, I used the scallop journal card and made it into a pocket for our butterfly tag. <clears throat> uh, this page has a double pocket uh, made out of one of the larger pieces from the ephemera that I printed out extra from this kit. And inside, I have our little journal cards. I trimmed this with some lace, very thin lace, so you could see the roses through it, and embellished that with a piece of a postage stamp and the words, Be Happy. This was just a piece of ephemera I had that matched this page, and I put it on there with one of our little hearts with some bling on it. This page has a half circle pocket with our little Harrison Fisher lady drinking tea. Uh, embellished with a cheesecloth, the word create from our kit. Uh, what would have been a button closure that I decided to use this way and some bling. And over here, I just used book page and a postage stamp and the word possibility. This is another belly band made out of a, a picture of a harp. And I just stuck a journal card inside with the word limitless on it. And this is the inside back cover. Um, I believe this and this may have been attached and I cut them apart and made it into two pieces and put them on the back, back two pages that match. And inside this pocket are just a couple of uh, small journal cards. And on the back where I wrapped the ribbon around, uh, I just, um, like I said, it went underneath this lace on the edge 
and I glued this down on top of it to hold it in place. This will be signed on the back. And it just, excuse my dog, just ties to close. Biscuit, that was me, honey. He barks at everything he hears. Okay, so that's the um, my little circle of friends rose journal. I hope you enjoyed that. It was a uh, not that time consuming and really a fun project, and I encourage you to give it a try. Um, I hope you will remember always that every day is a gift. Uh, this was the most beautiful fall day I've seen yet. It was in it was around 70 degrees and clear skies and leaves falling and um, I took a picture of my home that I'll probably put at the end of this video um, before the leaves get all cleaned up. It looks really neat out in the front yard. So I hope you have a good evening and I hope that you will always look for the joy in every day and share it with everyone you meet along the way. We can all use a little more love. So until next time, I'll see you soon.